Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you guys can see today, um, we're actually not sitting in my car. We are sitting in a customer's car, basically. Um, so this car is one of few cars that are basically, um, how can I say this? Wouldn't say copy, copied my car, but it's basically replicated versions of my car. So today on this car, we will be putting the tire lettering, which I do have on my car as well. And there's also, um, his windscreen also needs to be fixed as well. So we're going to do his windscreen. So I don't know if you guys remember or recall, but this car has featured on the channel before. Um, we have done the spoon mirrors. These are the EK spoon mirrors that actually go over here. Instead of going straight, these are electric spoon mirrors. Um, we did pick up that um, because of it being electric, it can't really adjust um, as good as mine. The blue ones I would recommend is actually um, better spoon mirrors. The reason for that is the blue kind of looks um, more original and it can be adjusted to the way you want it as well. Unfortunately, the electric ones uh, does not allow you to adjust it to the way it should actually be. And also, if you guys recall, I was the one that did the rear diffuse over here. Unfortunately, I did not cut the rear bumper. Um, however, he has uh, mentioned that we should do another bumper over because he does want it exactly like mine where it's a bit longer over here and it kind of falls or it has a kind of a shape over here and then also in the corner over here it goes a little bit down. So like I've mentioned in the previous vlog, I will basically be reviewing a few cars on the channel um, if the car does come to the channel so this is uh, the car that we'll be working on like I mentioned we're all going to do the tire lettering as well as uh, the windscreen will be replaced a friend of mine will be doing the windscreen so I did just want to show you guys a few things this is a fake flush mount which um, is placed on the incorrect spot uh, it does kind of look real but I mean if it was maybe relocated over here it would have maybe looked original because there is an actual mounting spot for the flush mount over there also um, I do see as a number plate holder with no number plate in it um, then also I do see he has made um, the lip white with some type of oh it's actually kind of a cover vibe this is actually not a a bad idea if you do not want to scrape um, your lip basically it's actually very nice I don't think um, you should be driving with it I think it kind of falls off and then also guys like I did mention uh, this is a replicated version of my car it does have um, the air duct brake air duct but unfortunately it does not actually have um, or it's not functional because there's no all year to actually let the air flow through so I do also see he has now fitted a fire extinguisher uh, which I assume should um, look like a NOS bottle then he also has the rear visor I do see a lot of guys have uh, the specific visor that it kind of does sag I'm not a big fan of it but it kind of looks like it's falling down over here um, yeah and then i think he did mention that he will be getting um the side or the the rear window or the rear side window um visors as well like mine so let me just show the differences on the two cars so like i mentioned with my car over here i do have the the lip over here or the shape basically so i have cut mine a little bit lower so the bumper does have a kind of a shape and then also this curve over here over here just goes a little bit lower than ease I do have um, Dunlop decal as well as if I do have uh, Dunlop SP Sport tires on I actually do not um, like to pretend that I do have a certain tire on when I actually do not in this case we will also now be doing um, 
toy yo decals but unfortunately he does not have toyo tires on not quite sure what tire this is and then yeah um this is actually the quick latch that we've done recently and then this is the flush mount hood flush mount which is placed in the correct spot so like i mentioned um I might just inform him that we might just have to move those flush mounts onto the correct spot because it kind of does not look right and I think this should be flipped the other way as well and then also guys I do want to mention that I am um, or I do not have an issue with guys actually re replicating my car I do not have an issue with that um, this guy over here, like I've mentioned previously, he has followed my previous build and he has actually bought my previous white car from me. So, over the years, I have assisted him with a few things and we have kind of became friends. So yeah, I am going to help him today with his car. And I'm just giving my honest opinion as to what I would do and what I wouldn't, wouldn't do on this car as well. But yeah, in the end, it's all up to the customer and I'm just here to assist him. So going forward, um, in order for the tire lettering to basically stick, I am going to get um, some glue. There's a certain glue that, that I need to buy. I think it is Cubon. Um, based on this, it kind of the shape of the tire lettering does also not look Correct, so it does look like I'm gonna have to adjust a few of it. I am going to remove the tire or the rim, however, in order for me to fit this. So I am waiting on the dude to come to the windscreen for us. And then while I do that, I'm just going to go to my local hardware store to get um, the glue and then just remove the rims. Put you guys up on a time lapse and then I'll be able to show you guys how to fit these tire decals. give me these um, allen keys so unfortunately I could not remove uh, the allen key in order for me to put in the lock nut and remove the rims so in the meanwhile I'm gonna basically clean um, the tire with some turbs or thinners and then if he does bring me the allen key the tire will basically be ready but I would like to actually remove uh, the rim and put it down so that I have a better or it's more comfortable for me to basically um, fit the tire lettering. another issue as you guys can see uh, this is not the correct shape of the tire which would mean I have to remove these one by one and place them one by one that is how I did mine before but this is going to take a lot of more work um, that's why I do like uh, to actually supply um, the product myself because sometimes people bring me things like like this which is actually incorrect is going to take much more work um, I'm going to see if I'm able to do this otherwise 
um, I would recommend him actually getting the correct decal in order for me to do this because this E is not going to work it's going to be crooked it's not going to be um, it's not going to look correct as well so let's just see if this is the correct ones um, well, this should be for 15s It looks kind of better on mine, but it still doesn't seem like it's correct. I'm not quite sure we got this decal, but this decal is not correct. I'm not quite sure for what tire it is. It does seem like it could even be a smaller tire than a 15. Because if you look at the edge or the way it's bent, it's not correct. I'm gonna see what I'm able to do, and if not. I would have to leave this for a different day uh, however we do need to get this windscreen sorted today okay guys so the customer did bring the allen key set uh, so we can actually continue um, doing the tire lettering i think it's this one over here if i'm not mistaken i'll just check it out quickly i'm gonna put you guys up in the time lapse and continue Get the rims off. See the rims over here. I'm just gonna give them a wipe down and then I'll just start with the decal. I do also kind of hear the guy coming for the windscreen. Yo bro, you gonna park somewhere over here? Okay, so I'm just going to push this tires to the side and we're going to start with the windscreen. So then look like the stuff is missing here. All the clips is missing. This just makes your job easier. Much more easier.
Hey guys, so this is Sika Primer. Funny do you have to put it on here so that the Sika Flex sits more better. So it's basically, uh, it serves the same purpose, or serves the same purpose as a uh, primer that you would use uh, for spraying, but this is just for Sika Flex. Basically, so that the window can sit uh, much better and also assist with rust as well. So this guys is what you call the Sikaflex activator. You basically use this for the Sikaflex to, is it to stick, to bond. So without this, uh, the Sikaflex might just come loose. But the name explains itself. It's an activator. It basically activates uh, the Sikaflex. So you're just applying it on uh, the windscreen. And then afterwards the Sikaflex um, will be fitted. And then we put the windscreen back in its place. Take one for an hour. You sure an hour? I think I'm maybe gonna overnight it or whatever. No. Not needed. Not needed. It's a no secret. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we may have to make our <laughs> make our own clips. Yes. Something I wanted to mention to you as well. These windows uh, that HD glass to supply do also. 